Hello folks welcome to Nasaro CNC. Today we are going to install spoil board and 32 32 inches X shaper plus CNC router. First prepare MDF board. Take the 19 mm MDF board and cut the board your machine size. This is the 32 32 machine spoil board size. This is the 32 48 machine spoil board size. And this is the 48 48 machine spoil board size. Now take a look at the hardware you need for this installation. This is the clamping inserts bag. This is the spoil board installation hardware bag. And this is the 5mm LN key. Note, this hardware come with the machine. But you need some extra hardware to install the spoil board. Like two wood working clamp. 4 wood spacer 4 mm thick and 30 80 mm long. And one measuring instrument you have. Now take the MDF board you already cut for your machine. And place on the spoil board extrusions. Take the measuring instrument you have and try to place the MDF board exactly in the center of the machine. And also make sure the MDF board and machine extrusion should align with each other. Take the four wood spacers which you have already prepared yourself and place them at each corner of the MDF board. Now clamp the MDF board along with front extrusion and table to secure the MDF board during cutting program. Make sure the clamp distance 100 mm from the edge of the MDF board. This is the safe position for the clamp. Because this area is outside the working area of the tool. So the tool will not collide with the clamp. Now move the spindle by using independent touch screen controller to the front left corner. This is our origin of the G code. All axes are zero there. Take the 6mm end mill which is provided with the machine and insert it from the opposite side into the spindle and make sure the flat side of the tool is facing outwards towards the MDF board. This help in zeroing the part accurately. And also make sure not to tighten end mill too much. It can damage the cutting flute of the end mill. You just hand tight little bit. Now we are going to X axis zero first. Move the end mill, left side edge of the MDF board, this is our x-axis zero point. And touch the x-axis zero button into the controller, to zero the x-axis. Make sure the x-axis DRO zero at this time. Now repeat same step to zero y-axis also. And touch the y-axis zero button into the controller, to zero the y-axis. Make sure the y-axis DRO zero at this time. Now it's time to install end mill properly. Unclamp the end mill and flip it. And insert into the spindle right way and tight it down. Now we are going to Z axis zero. Move the end mill, top edge of the MDF board. This is our Z axis zero point. And touch the Z axis zero button into the controller to zero the Z axis. Touch the return to zero button into the controller. End mill move the corner edge of the MDF board at this time. Make sure the all axis DRO zero at this time. Now make sure the spindle power switch is on. And spindle RPM rotary knob is at least 5 position. And also check, the spindle control knob is on auto. Because of X panel controller is ability to control spindle on off automatically. We will talk about in detail later video. Now it's time to download the G-code file, which is going to use for cutting inserts holes and mounting pocket and MDF board. Open web browser in your computer or laptop. Go to the Nasaro CNC website, nasarocnc.com. And go to the support. And then click the router support. 
and then click the spoil board G code button to get the G code file. Once you download the file, open the zip file. There are three folder, 3232 machine spoil board, 3248 machine spoil board, 4848 machine spoil board. Open the folder which is belong to your machine. In this video we open 3232 machine spoil board folder. In this folder we got two files 3232 spoil board back and 3232 spoil board front. Copy both the file into the USB stick. Now go to the X panel controller and plug USB stick in your X panel USB connector. Now go to the controller and tap the open file button and select the 3232 spoil board back file first to load the G code into the machine. And then tap the sand button to start the G code. Note, spindle start automatically when you tap the sand button. If you are running the machine without dust boot, the router produce lot of dust during cutting. So we are going to use dust boot in the next step and you see the result, how clean the machine after install the dust boot. Now unclamp the board. and turn 180 degree to cut front side holes. Repeat the previous step again to set up the front side board. Zero the corner again as we set it previously. And tap the open file button. And select the 3232 spoil board front file this time. And load the G code into the machine. We install the dust boot this time. You can see the result, how clean the machine after install the dust boot. Now tap the sand button to run the G code.
Now unclamp the board. And flip the board to install the insert into the holes. Make sure install the insert opposite side of the pocket. If you have the cordless screwdriver use it to tighten down the insert. It is very convenient for this step. Otherwise use the LN key provided in the toolkit. Now flip the board again and align to the center. Now it's time to install spoil board. You need spoil board hardware bag provided with this machine. Now take the M5 16 mm bolt with washer and T-nut. Insert the washer into the bolt and tighten with T-nut. Prepare the 6 assembly for attach the spoil board into the machine. Insert this assembly into the all 6 holes. Make sure the T-nut remain loose at this moment. Make sure the face of the T-nut will be parallel to the spoil board. Otherwise T-nut will not go into the extrusion slot. Now try to place the spoil board into the extrusion slot. If T-nut is not going inside the extrusion slot, adjust the T-nut little bit and try again. Make sure align the spoil board to the center of the machine and also make sure the spoil board and the front extrusion in line with each other and tighten down the all six bolts. Congratulations now you are ready to make anything you want. If you run into any issues setting up your spoil board, reach out to our support team. We are always here to help. If you have any questions and concerns, you can reach out to us via email at nasarocnc at gmail.com and to see our other accessories visit our website nasarocnc.com. See you next time good luck.